Viola Davis um, was attached when I came aboard. It was an easy yes. Everybody wants to work with Viola. She is, she is greatness personified. She is black excellence. And to be in that type of environment is so incredibly inspiring. She encouraged everybody. She was respectful. She set a beautiful tone. All the actors, yes, wanted to be a part of this film, wanted to embody these special characters, but they wanted to work with V. And she just created this environment of everybody wanting to bring their best, wanting to be great, wanting to be in a scene with her, wanting to go toe to toe. It was just a very cool environment. And she's a fighter. This movie took great fight to get made. And I always felt like she's in the fight with me. Our ensemble cast is insane. Um, not only their chops and their passion, but their work ethic. To embody these characters, they needed to put in the work, not only because I wanted them to do their own fighting and own stunts, which is a whole nother level, but like that, that type of training helped them build their character, helped them build their bodies into these. I mean, we built athletes. They became athletes for this, and that was important because they're warriors, and these are women who legit defended the kingdom, legit won these battles. We had to believe them. They were just fun, fun to be around, and just incredibly dope actors. Tuso, Tuso, generational talent. So special, so good, so smart about her character. She would come to me sometimes with thoughts that just blew my mind. Like she is so conscious of every little aspect and that's, that's incredible. Lashana as a Zogi is everything I thought she was gonna be and more. She just brought this incredible energy. She feels everything so personally and so deeply. And so to be in that type of environment is so inspiring. And she took this character of a Zogi that was one thing and just took it to volume 10 and stayed at volume 10. It's an incredible performance. Sheila, a team, just makes every frame that she's in better. Just a dope actor, incredible work ethic, special. It was just an incredible team of, of women. And then bring John Boyega into the mix. John, our king. There's a line of stage direction that I wrote that says that the earth uh, is honored by his burden. That's, that's what John brought, that swagger. He's a young king, he's complicated. Um, but John just brought this depth and this charisma. And the moment he walked on set, like your eye goes to him. He was, he was perfect casting. To have great action, it's, it's supremely important that it has a beginning, middle, and end that it has a story to it, that it has character to it. And the best way to do that is for the actors to do it because they're giving performance. It's one thing to say that, it's another for them to put in the work to be able to do that. And this wasn't just work out for a month so that you're ready to be on set. This was months of training and deep, deep training. One, to get into the mindset of a warrior, to make sure that your body looks like a warrior to make sure that you can withstand the, the level of stunts and fighting that you're gonna do and not get hurt. That's supremely important. So it was, it was months of two days. You, you do weight training with Gabby. Uh, Gabby McLean, our incredible trainer, in the mornings. And then in the afternoon, you're working with Danny Hernandez, our fight and stunt coordinator and his incredible team to learn martial arts, learn hand-to-hand, -hand, learn weapons training, learn how to punch, learn how to run. We also had Jerome Davis, who was a running coach to make sure that our women could sprint and look good doing that. On top of that, then you had dance training because we had these incredible dance sequences that were so intricate and so choreographed because that was true to the kingdom as well, um, what they did before battle or to honor the king. So they had to learn that on top of dialect coaching, on top of <laughs> learning songs in Fong Bay, which was a native language of Dahomey. It was a lot, but they all did it because they believed in this. They wanted to do this the right way and they wanted to give everything and that's what they did. And the battle dance was um, a dance that happens right before they're about to go to war. So, and based on research, 
it was really aggressive. It was, and we needed to bring that aggressive aggression to the dance. So it literally starts on volume 10 and stays on volume 10 for the entire dance. There's no break. And the actors had to learn it. And it was really tough. We had great choreographers, Zoe and Eugene, who, again, dove into the research, looked at lots of moves that have, that have you know, gone from decade to, to decade, um, and also reading and, and hearing the different things that they did, and created this incredible dance that they did. Lashana's character, Zogi, was kind of our Beyonce in terms of in the center and, and leading it, but everyone had to, had to stay on volume 10 and do it, and it's an incredible dance, but it also bonded them because it was so hard. It was like this thing that they were gonna have to do and get through, but they loved it as well. And I just remember after all the rehearsals that they did, which was months at a time, the first time we did it for the crew as a rehearsal with all the cameras and the live drumming, like they finished and the crew burst into applause. It was an amazing moment, not only for me just to witness that, but for the actors to understand all that work they put in had that type of impact. Um, and after every take that they did, and they did it seven times, the crew applauded because it was like giving back what the actors were giving us.